tragedy on a Norwalk intersection where deputies say a deadly DUI crash happened this weekend. Investigators say a speeding driver ran a red light, crashed into another car, killing a mother and her daughter. KKL 9's Nicole Comstock is live in Norwalk with reaction from a family friend of the victims. Nicole. Well, this crash happened right in front of a church, which is where family members are lighting candles tonight. There's a lot of frustration in the community toward the driver who caused this crash, but neighbors say there are actually a lot of people who speed through this intersection and run red lights. The speed limit here is 40 miles per hour, but investigators say the driver who caused this fatal crash in Norwalk, taking the lives of an innocent mother and her 13 year old daughter, was barreling down the residential road much faster. And Enrique Zuniga can't get the image of that young girl dying out of his mind. That was the most painful image I have in my, in my head is that the image of them trying to revive her and she wouldn't react. Because after he ran across the street from his home here in Norwalk to help the crash victims, he realized he knew them. Ashley and her mother, Shannon Alvarez, lived just around the corner. I didn't know it was my brother's girlfriend until the airbag got lifted up, and I see Shannon's face yelling and screaming, and, and my heart rushed. I got the chills, the butterflies, and my first thought was, I know Ashley's always with her. LA County Sheriff's deputies say 26 year old Brittany Lopez of Las Vegas, the driver of this Dodge Charger you see speeding toward the intersection in this security video, ran a red light before colliding with the victim's Camaro. It happened at 10 o'clock in the morning, and investigators believe Lopez was driving under the influence of alcohol and drugs. She's been charged with vehicular manslaughter and driving without a license. Usually, people that that do these types of tragic things have remorse. There was no remorse. There was no remorse, and that angers me even more. Enrique says neighbors constantly complain about speeding and crashes at this intersection, but nothing seems to change. He thinks the community has to get involved in putting a stop to it. You know, one of your friends is drinking or driving, uh, tell them not to drive. Take the keys away. You drive, give them a lift. There's ways to prevent this. It's just we all got to remember that. And investigators are still waiting on the results of a toxicology report, so the driver will likely face additional charges. Reporting live in Norwalk, I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News. All right, thanks so much, Nicole.